Good evening. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being. You set light in the sky to govern the night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading, once again, comes from the book of Isaiah, another of Isaiah's servant songs. You'll notice that all the readings this week have been servant songs of Isaiah, leading up to one of the most well-known servant songs, which we'll read and worship on Good Friday. Isaiah writes, The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear, to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I, should, that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who then will declare me guilty? All of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. The author has just shared the stories of ancestors in the faith, people like Moses and Abraham, and also of martyrs, all people who lived with the assurance of God's promise, even though they never saw that promise come to fruition in their own lives. They write, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him, who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, that you may not grow weary or lose heart. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
we respond to these lessons with the gospel canticle. Please join me. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation, you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For these holy houses, and for all who offer in them their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the Church, for this assembled body, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For what and for whom do God's people pray? For these and all the prayers of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending. 
by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Go now in the peace of Christ as we continue on our Holy Week journey together. The peace of Christ be with you.